good morning dear students now we will begin with the module 4 in the module 4 we have two parts the first part is quantum mechanics and the second part is lasers so this is second part we will cover this first and then we will go for quantum mechanics let us understand what is this abbreviation that is laser it is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation okay now let us look at uh, these words one by one light we know the amplification meaning is enhancing or increase in the signal so this is a basic signal so if it is increasing that means uh, it is enhancing we call it as amplification in this case this amplitude will be more amplitude will increase right this is called as amplification by the stimulated emission so stimulation means we are giving to this some extra energy that is called as stimulating then out of that we will get the emission of radiation that radiation is nothing but laser so this is the abbreviation of the laser in this chapter we are going to learn the basic principle behind the laser interaction of light and matter types of lasers there are different kinds of lasers the gaseous lasers are the solid state lasers are the semiconductor lasers are there so we are going to learn those all things at the end we are going to learn the application part of the laser application mainly we use this laser in case of uh, the communication uh, that means what nowadays we are using the internet or to call mobiles everywhere we use the laser signal as the communication purpose in the optical fiber so in the industry to weld to drilling to cutting purpose uh, we use the lasers in the medical applications in the defense applications there are wide varieties of applications of lasers we are going to learn now let us understand what is the basic principle behind the lasers okay for that we have to consider the material okay that means the matter right the matter we have to consider from where the laser uh, will emit the laser emits from the matter okay matter consists of what matter consists of atoms okay that means the light which is coming that is coming from the atoms okay that means from the matters so all the matter all the atoms in the matter will be having some kind of energy okay, it will be having energy so this will also have the energy okay how to indicate this energy we can indicate this energy with energy level diagram it is called as energy level diagram okay it is called as energy level diagram or we can say it's a graph okay so we have to understand what is the energy level diagram and how it is uh, brought from the matter or the atom for that let us consider an atom so this is the nucleus of an atom around which the electrons will be revolving like this so these are the electrons which are revolving okay so this is the electron which are revolving around uh, the nucleus okay so this is the atom okay and when a photon hits to an electron <coughs> let us say this is the photon okay this is the photon h nu is a photon where h is a planck's constant and nu is the frequency of this incident radiation okay when this hit to the electron this particular electron will jump to the higher orbital so this is the lower orbital okay and from this orbital it goes to the higher orbital let us say this is the higher orbital and it jumps to the higher orbital right and this is called as the excitation what has happened now we were having a simple atom that atom can be represented with the line so this is the atom where we are not supplied any energy to this okay so we can call this as a ground state it is ground state energy of the atom right so where we have the electrons like this 
so we have electrons okay and in the system we are having the higher orbital that can be represent with represented with an another with the another line okay so this is called as excited this is called as excited state okay when when a photon hits to this this electron when photon hits to this electron the photon is h nu this electron will transit to the higher energy level it goes and sits over here okay? and we call this atom as excited state atom right so this is the one half first half of the principle okay so now when this electron goes to the higher order and we call that atom as a excited state atom and this atom this electron okay, it has to come back to its ground state okay so that means it will come back to the ground state it will not stay there for longer duration of time and it will come back to the ground state by emitting the h nu that is one photon one photon right so like this if there are millions of photons which are hitting to this atom okay and there are millions of electrons in the ground state all together will go to the higher energy level and come back to the ground state by emitting millions of photons that is laser which is coming out right so if i have considered here only one atom if i consider the matter as a whole then there will be millions of atoms there will be millions of electrons when i expose that to photons different kinds of energy sources which we can use here we have used a light as an light as an energy we can use electrical energy or heat energy this is extra added energy to this particular system we can add different kinds of energy so when i supply the energy to that these electrons will go to the higher state and then come back to the ground state by emitting the photon this is the basic principle behind the laser this lower energy or the ground state energy we can call it as even and this is excited state energy or higher energy we can call it as e2 this is e1 state this is e2 state when i consider a single atom if i consider the matter as a whole there will be e3 e4 e5 like that we will be having higher orders of energy higher and higher energy levels will be there in the material okay for simplicity to represent a simple atom we are considering only two levels one is lower level and that is higher level this electron will go here and come back in use the photon this is the basic principle right so now this energy difference that we can consider as delta e energy difference that is e2 minus e1 is the energy difference okay so we know that we know that the planck's equation that is e is equal to h nu where this h is a planck constant and this nu is a frequency of radiation incident radiation right so this is frequency of the incident radiation okay so when i take this e as the energy difference that is delta e is equal to it is h nu it becomes h nu or i can substitute that uh, this h c divided by lambda because because this nu is equal to c divided by lambda where c is the speed of light this is the speed of uh, light and this is the wavelength this is the wavelength of the radiation and we have now this delta e is equal to hc divided by lambda this is the basic equation of light right and we are going to use this in the numerical problem now interaction of the radiations with the matter okay there are in a three ways the light will interact 
with uh, the matter the first one is induced absorption second one is spontaneous emission and third one is stimulated emission okay if you look at these three things we have uh, induced absorption that means light is absorbing and it is emitting in two ways okay, light is absorbing first in the matter and then it is emitting the radiations from the matter in two ways okay now let us understand this first one what is the induced absorption we know that this energy level of an atom is like this right whereas e1 is the ground state e2 is the excited state so e1 is it is the ground state energy level ground state energy level and e2 is it is excited state energy level right so what we have in the ground state in the ground state we have the electrons like this which are orbiting around the nucleus okay what we are supplying let us say we are supplying the we are supplying the h nu that is a photon when i supply to this okay so i can give this photon to this electron or the, the we can represent into to the whole the atom so both are same okay when the photon is incident so this is the photon h nu is a single photon when it is incident when it is hit to this electron what happens it will absorb right so this is before absorption okay we will learn this step by step this is before absorption okay now when it absorbs what happens is this is the e1 state this is the e2 state when it is absorbed when this absorbs it goes to the higher state okay when this is this is hit to this and when it takes this it goes to the higher energy level this is called as induced absorption so this is after the absorption after the absorption of h nu and this we can represent in in this manner we have this atom okay this is ground state atom plus h nu it takes a photon and it goes to the higher order that is this is called as excited state atom it takes this and it goes to the higher order that is atom star we can write okay in the same way the second one what is the second one second one now the second one is spontaneous emission now already we have seen this is induced absorption now the atom is in the absorbed condition that means it is in the excited state now it has to emit it has absorbed now it has to it is going to emit now okay so we know that this is the excited state this is the ground state we call it as e1 this is e2 now where is the atom atom is in the excited state that means this electron will be in the excited level so this is the excited level this is the ground state energy level so this is before the spontaneous emission so this is the before the emission now while emitting it has to emit without any extra added energy that means voluntarily it comes down to the ground state so this is e2 this is e1 when it is emitting this electron will come down to the ground state by emitting the radiation okay so this process is called as spontaneous emission here this electron voluntarily it comes down to the ground state it is coming down to the ground state this is after the emission process so here we have to notice it is we are not adding here any extra energy okay this will not be there for longer duration of time it has to come back to the ground state it comes back by emitting what it has absorbed 
it has absorbed this much of uh, energy so h nu energy it has absorbed and and it is emitting so now this is in the excited state that means it is atom star okay and this reaction we can write in the form of a reaction that means atom star we can write as the the atom is coming in the ground state okay without the star means it's a ground state plus which is emitting the h nu as a uh, the photon which is outcome of that now third one is it is <coughs> stimulated stimulated emission okay so the name itself is uh, indicating us we are stimulating the process okay so this there are two uh, kinds of emissions one kind of absorption this is absorption where light is absorbed in the material okay then there are two kinds of emission this is a one kind of emission this is the emission emitted photon okay the second kind of emission is it is the stimulated emission okay the in the stimulated emission again we should consider the excited state atom itself so this is the excited state atom okay so this is e1 and this is e2 this is excited state where electron is over here and this is the ground state level okay and now here voluntarily it has come back now here it needs an extra photon to stimulate that okay it stimulates this atom and this atom is going to come back to the its ground state so when we supply that at that time only it comes back so this process is called as the stimulated right now we can call it as stimulation so this is before and after the emission what happens is this is e2 this is e1 the electron which is here by taking this this photon it comes back to the ground state by emitting one photon okay now there is a question what is that we when when this comes back to the ground state this emits one photon what about this incident photon okay this incident photon it stimulates this process this incident photon this stimulates this atom and this will also come out okay this will also come out that means what in the stimulated emission there are two photons which are coming out from the excited state then atom remains in the ground state at the end of the process okay so how can we write this is after the emission okay so this is the atom okay. that means excited state atom which we have this is excited state atom and uh, to this what we are adding to this we are adding the photon we are adding the photon is incident on the excited state atom okay then atom remains in the ground state this is the ground state atom this is the ground state atom with this we have incident photon and then again the emitted photon there are two photons one is this photon which is stimulating this and coming out and that is due to the transition from the e2 to e1 so this process is called as stimulated emission 